Well, it's official. After almost 10 months on the job, I was presented the Medal of Office during an installation ceremony on April 16th. And on the back of the medal is my name as the 11th president of this historic and revered institution. What a great ceremony and a fantastic celebration of Marifal College. The list of thank yous is long. The inauguration committee, headed by chairs Natalie Haslam and Mark Ingram, did a terrific job of focusing events on our theme of preparing students. Committee members also raised funds and secured in-kind gifts for events that enabled us to enjoy this celebration without pulling any funds from the general operating budget. The entire board of directors contributed generously. Sophomore Sam Newton welcomed guests to campus every day of the inauguration celebration with his bagpipes. The choir, off kilter, and voices of praise were their usual top-notch vocalists. Volunteers from archives worked to create interesting displays of the college's past and present, and many more volunteers oversaw them in locations across campus. I was humbled by the participation of churches and clergy in the worship service held at New Providence Presbyterian Church. Throughout much of the four-day celebration, I was reminded of the blessings of the college's strong town-gown relationship with the surrounding community, and support from these faith-based congregations made the point, as did the remarks of Governor Bill Haslam and Maryville native Senator Lamar Alexander, who graciously accepted our invitation to speak to local elected officials and guests at a special luncheon. Both spoke candidly about the challenges in education at the state and national level. Governor Haslam called Maryville College an incredibly important part of East Tennessee as it prepares students for leadership and meaningful work. Sharing personal stories of learning to swim and play the piano on the Maryville College campus, Senator Alexander told attendees that the college enriches our community in many, many ways. In addition to elected officials, it was great to have my colleagues and dear friends, Dr. Andrew Morris and Dr. Thomas Nekeba, participate in the week. Andy shared some thoughts on faith and learning with our board of directors, and during Saturday's ceremony, he introduced me to attendees. Tom delivered a presentation on the links between education and economics. In addition to our education and social sciences students and faculty members, many members from the community attended. My wife Mary, daughter Elizabeth, and I truly appreciate the welcome shown to us, our extended family, and friends throughout the week. The inaugural ceremony, held in the magnificent Ronald and Linda Nutt Theater of the Clayton Center for the Arts, was beautifully traditional and symbolic. If you haven't seen the ceremony online, I encourage you to do so. Especially moving to me personally was the passing of the Presidential Medal. This demonstrated visually the support this college receives from a diverse constituency. And what an unexpected surprise to have Mary and my father Carl walk onto the stage to place the medal around my neck. It was a memory I'll cherish for a lifetime. I hope we created memories for students too and that they'll remember this historic event throughout their lives. They may not remember the speeches or the presentations or the panel discussions, but I hope they forever take with them a clearer understanding and a deeper appreciation for the mission of Maryville College and the uniqueness of this place. The Student Government Association, along with the Keepers of the Covenant, planted a tulip poplar in my honor that Friday afternoon as rain threatened and people hovered under umbrellas. My wish is that the tree grows strong and tall and straight and stands as a reminder of the student body's investment in this college. It was four days of prepared remarks, detailed directions, and intense schedule keeping. But it was also four days of fun and laughter and enjoyment. I was serenaded with Don't Worry, Be Happy by members of Off Kilter at the inaugural dinner. Students wearing t-shirts that read I Heart Bogart on them formed an honor guard for the inaugural recession and applauded as we all departed the inaugural ceremony. Mary and I were thrilled by the student, faculty, and staff participation in the organized flash mob at the inauguration lunch. And what fun it was later to join Pistol Creek Catch of the Day for performance of Flip, Flop, and Fly. Flop and fly. <laughs> I don't care if I die. I don't care if I die. 
In the last 10 months, you've probably heard me say at least once that becoming president of Maryville College was my dream job. This inauguration just confirmed for me, my family, our friends, and my colleagues how extraordinary it is to be living that dream, officially. Thank you for your support of Maryville College. Flip, flip, flop and fly. <laughs>